Hello, my name is Frank, and I will be your guide today on our hike through the trail. I'm here at the Gwinnett Environmental and Heritage Center in Gwinnett County, Georgia. This particular park is open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 3 p.m. I had its 233 acres. As I have mentioned on my other videos, Gwinnett County in the year 2008 won the Golden Award for having the best park system in the United States, beating out Las Vegas and Fort Worth, Texas. This particular park, Gwinnett Environmental uh, Heritage Center, has interactive hands-on science displays, has cultural natural history exhibitions, has a U.S. building, green building uh, council design strategy, has nature trails that we will be getting on in just a few minutes. In fact, there's 11 different trails and they're rated uh, according to difficulty, has outdoor classrooms, and has a pavilion. This is a wonderful park. It's very well designed, and I think you would enjoy it. So thanks again for coming with us on today's hike. Have a good day. Here's a map of the trails at the Gwinnett Environmental uh, Heritage Center. There are 11 uh, separate trails, so it's, it's a good-sized park with uh, a lot of variety. This is information about the Ivy Creek uh, Greenway, which intersects with this particular park. These are the rules for the Greenway uh, par portion of the park. I think I'm going to get on the park uh, trails headed to the left at, on this side. This is the uh, pavilion here at the uh, park. I'm headed downhill right now and then to the right by the parking lot. The trail uh, is still by the parking lot. It goes slightly up and then to the left. Now the trail breaks downhill by this utility shed. These sheds are toilets right here by the trail. Here's an informational sign about your dog. If you have one. Now the trail breaks into the uh, shade going downhill. I guess this is a pipe for the runoff from the parking lot. Now we are going through a broadleaf forest. Now the trail breaks slightly uh, uphill and then downhill. We have some kind of trail breaking off to the left here. Maybe it's for bikers. I guess bikers aren't allowed on this part. It's for, just for walk. The trail goes further downhill and then breaks to the left in the open area. I think this must be the headquarters in the back of the trail here, up on the hill. Here's an informational sign about the watershed. Where do you s stand? Looks like we have a school group coming down to get on the main trail here. Now the trail breaks downhill slightly and straight away. We're coming down to an open area uh, and then it swings to the right. The trail now breaks into a shady area. We just had to cross the, the road at this point to get on the trail. It's like we're coming up onto uh, the dog here, relieving himself. The trail breaks into a straightaway and the kids on camp uh, went a diff We come to a part now that's going downhill, uh, still in the shade. Now the trail goes downhill and then it loops to the right and goes uphill. We have another trail that shifts to the left and then it goes uphill. I guess these guys got stuck down here in the mud. Now the trail uh, goes up uphill a bit. These people in their truck back here got stuck in the mud, so I guess they're getting help. Nice day, it's getting awful hot. Yes, I am. Yeah, it's we have a bridge uh, here, uh, which I will go over and check. This is the first park bench I've came to, so I'm going to take a lemonade break at this point. I'm headed now across this wooden bridge. It's going to be 96 today, so I'm trying to get out. This is a rather good-sized bridge as it twists around to the left. Now it goes into an iron railing on both sides. This is going over some kind of creek here. Here's a view from the other side. From this point, we can get a better view of the uh, stream. Now the bridge straightens out, and it goes to the right. It looks like the bridge it goes by an apartment complex. We have some picnic tables here by the side of the trail under this pavilion. Here we have a picnic area uh, by the stream that you can hear in the background. Perhaps you can hear the water running. 
I guess this part of the trail is called the Nature Trail. Has a rather challenging slope coming up, it seems. Now the trail goes slightly downhill on a straightaway. Here's the stream by the side of the road. Here's the stream uh, with the gurgling sounds. It's hard to see because the mud. Here's the stream uh, running alongside the trail. This soft trail uh, has a rubbery feel to it. Not as hard as. The trail now loops around to the right. Now the trail enters a straightaway and the curves a, a bit to the right. Now we come to a park bench on our right side here. The stream, uh, strangely, is hardly flowing at this point, it seems. We finally reach a shady area under the bridge. We finally come to another park bench facing away from the trail. And a This is a map and it shows exactly where we are on the trail at this point. The gentleman that just passed told me that this is not a loop, so I have to backtrack to get back. So I'm now in the process of backtracking my trail, going back to the Heritage. I guess the Heritage Center is nine-tenths of a mile away. We are now backtracking the trail, uh, going left and slightly uphill. We have some beautiful flowers along the trail here. Now we finally made it across the bridge back to the main trail. It looks like the maintenance worker finally got their truck out that was stuck when we came by. They were able to cover up and uh, shovel in uh, the dirt where they were stuck. It looks like the school kids are headed back from their, their walk in the park. Now the trail slopes uh, gradually uphill. Now the trail breaks into a straightaway after climbing this rather long hill. Looks like we have some more flowers along the trail. It's already starting to get extremely hot as we enter a shady area. I'm near the Heritage Center and we'll be there in just a few minutes up on the hill. There's a small bridge I'm going to cross here in the back of the Heritage Center. This is looking at the back of the Heritage Center. It looked like this trail is closed, but this sign is laying on the ground. A swamp or a pond in the back of the Heritage Center. Looks like the, the campers have returned from their walk. Here's a historical house that was recently acquired by the uh, Gwinnett County. We're headed, headed uphill again. It's good to get into the shade once again. This trail led me to the back of the Heritage Center. Looks like we are coming up on a waterfall of sorts here by the this stream runs around and behind the Heritage Center, starting in the front. We have some black-eyed Susans here by the stream running around the... This is the large marquee in front of the Heritage Center. You can see some of the supporters of the Heritage Center, the Cisco, Georgia Power, Johnstone Supply, many others. This is looking out of the Heritage Building at the waterfall in the back. This is a loop trail. You might keep this in mind. It runs down by the stream. This pavilion has six picnic tables to accommodate a good size group. Hello again. I hope you've enjoyed our walk together in the woods. It was a lot of fun. You might be advised that uh, this park has very uh, few loop trails, it seems. And there's quite a number of open spaces, so be sure and bring your umbrella which is really good on hot days. For example, it's going to be 96 today, so an umbrella came in handy. Also, uh, if you should get hungry while you're here, there's any number of good restaurants located nearby, including the Golden Corral. And also, the Mall of Georgia has a gigantic food court up the way there on Buford Drive. So, this is a wonderful park, and there's so many uh, trails to walk on. It's uh, a hiker's delight. So thanks again for joining me and have a good day.